we got called out to uh, Baxi Platinum where we was reported to be having lukewarm water central eating was working fine so before we go out there and take any parts there's a few checks that you can do um, and you'll see them in the video so I won't go into them too much but a couple of things that you won't see in the video that you can check um, is you should do a gas rate on the appliance when you go out there do your call out and diagnostic because with it working fine on central eating um, there could be an issue with the gas valve because when there's de more demand for with the hot water um, the gas volume might not be enough to adequately supply what the boiler needs so if you gas rate it when you're doing your call out and diagnostics and fault finding that will give you a good indication as to whether there's any issues with a gas valve so that's a tip that I would recommend on a call out and diagnostics you can also check your direct hot water sensor as well and then there'll be other little bits that you'll see in the video that you can check and um, what the issue was on this particular call out and diagnostic so hope you enjoy it and hope you get some value from it got called out to a Baxi Platinum where a customer saying that they've got lukewarm water so normally this is either a plate heat exchanger or a diverter issue and the easiest way you can find out which one it is is with your temperature probe so what we've done is we've turned the hot water on downstairs and I've put my temperature probes on the cold coming in and the hot going out and as we can see we're only getting just about a 20 degree differential and the boiler temperature is rising really rapidly and then it'll boiler light will go off as it shuts out and overheats so that's telling me that the water is not getting through the waterways quick enough a quick test to see whether it's the diverter is you can put your temperature probes on there and what you can do is you can see is the temperature rising as it's going through the flow pipe i can also feel that that's cold but i can see that the temperature is not rising through the flow pipe so that's indicating to me that it's a block plate heat exchanger so to get the plate out on these you need to remove the gas valve obviously isolate the gas uh, there's a union up here and then there's two screws underneath which attach the gas valve to it. I just drop it down there and then it allows me to pull the plate out and have a look. Plenty of silicon grease when you put them on and discard of the old ones. It can be a pain to get out of the back sometimes if you just get a screwdriver in or something and just prise it out. Then we get the new plate in, make sure it goes the right way. So a top tip with backs is when you're putting the gas valve in, if you just loosen the union at the top up here, uh, going into the fan and the venturi, then it's a lot easier to get this union on, on a gas valve because it's, it's on a bend. It's a right pain to get in, but if you just loosen that union, it allows you just to sit it nice and neat. So don't try and fight it putting this union onto the gas valve. Loosen that and then put the gas valve back in. So, got it all running again. The temperature is stabilised, it's not going up and shutting the boiler down. We've got our temperature probes on the cold and the hot. And what we're doing is we're checking our differential temperature and it's a 35 degree rise on this boiler, which is perfect.